name is Aileen Perez, I'm an astrophysicist, and this is Was Pluto Always That Small? So we believe that the answer is yes, and um, 4.6 billion years ago, we had the formation of the solar system, and the way that these planets get to the size that they are is that they uh, form a planetesimal, and then in their orbits around the sun, there's a lot of gas and dust. Let's say that this is the sun, this is the orbit. And as they kind of sweep by it, they start cleaning the orbit and they start uh, accreting mass. So they start collecting all these gases and then they become very large. Now, Pluto seems to have failed to do so. So that's why it's called a dwarf planet. Now, Pluto is only in, in size. The radius of Pluto is 715 miles, so about 1,000 kilometers. So not very much, and it just kind of failed to accumulate enough mass to become one of the gas giants. It also seems that Pluto may have been rejected by Neptune. So Pluto is right after Neptune. So here you have, let's say, Neptune, uh, and we'll draw one of its moons. This is Triton. It turns out that Triton is very similar to Pluto. And Pluto used to... Uh, Pluto still crosses the, the orbital path of Neptune occasionally, so the, the orbits sort of cross. Um, sometimes Pluto uh, gets in front of Neptune, like when Pluto was a planet, it actually alternated between being the ninth planet to the eighth planet, and it goes back and forth. Because the orbit is so kind of strange, we believe that it might have been one of the largest moons of Neptune, and it just got kicked out of Neptune. So there are two reasons that Pluto may have been this, always this small. One, it may have failed to accrete enough mass, or two, it may have just been a moon that was kicked out of orbit. My name is Eileen Perez, I'm an astrophysicist, and this is Was Pluto Always That Small?